first of all, I just want to say thank you, God. Um, you know, I'm hearing this person talking to me via voice to call. Like I said, the people interacting with you truly are not people that you should ever envy. And you should ever look at people that you want to trade places with. Even if they're saying things that's going to be happening to you, that's horrible. For example, this person is saying, and she's obviously using this tonality to kind of agitate me. Tell me, kill yourself. You'll kill yourself in your cell. It's going to be hell. I was like, listen, uh, that's why I need to thank God now when I can. And ask God to give me strength. Uh, to hear the, the level of witness this person is using when she, she tells me I'm going to kill myself. Obviously, I know that she's just a bottom fear. Whatever is going to happen to me, I know the governmental entities are doing that to me. And she's just a loser, a bottom feeder, I will call the fund empowerment. This is not somebody who I believe is strong in any ways, especially spiritually or, I mean, um, emotionally. I know it's a childlike individual who loved and the, the feeling of feeling empowered. And that's why I thank God that I've never been to this level of witness. And I didn't even get the opportunity to get myself to the level of witness. If she, I think she could hear herself interacting with me, she would know that thank you for giving me this dignity. Wherever I die, I'm going to die. However I'm going to die. And if I kill myself because I'm tortured, that's still a dignified way of dying. Than living life like a loser like you. You know, they eat, live, and drink the manipulation we t test, the sub test subjects deal with. And a, a bottom feeder like that, in her mind, you know, it's it's like, you know, when you you you, you work in a lab and you work on a guinea pig, imagine I'm such a bottom feeder, it's like, oh, you're gonna die. We won, we met. It's like, this is the kind of mentality they have. And they've used a very childlike individual who are just weak bottom feeders. Who work for governmental entities that are using human subjects as test subjects. That's why when I see them, I feel like nothing. Even though they see some of the worst things, I'm just like, you just are nothing, truly. You're like air flowing around. You, I, don't, I don't feel you. But I'm thankful. You make me feel thankful to God that uh, I'm not the one saying kill yourself, you'll die and we're mad, like Jesus you know um, every time it seems like they want me to accept this fan fantasy it's just like reality hit them you know I, I know who put me in this program to see how the impact of what the, the people who put me in this program are still doing in this country it's just humiliating to these losers who are trying to create this up and this, of course, I know is the, the reality of things. I, I know that these people interacting with me, uh, their job is to agitate me. Uh, they tell me these horrible things are going to happen to me, not just to inform me, just to break me down, right? And they don't, you don't need to be the toughest. You don't need to be the bravest. When I mean tough, I don't mean physically. I'm talking about tough in the sense of, like, mentality-wise. They, they don't have strong, they're not strong-minded individuals. They're just childlike individuals. They child like they 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 cowards. Um, but that's why this technology is being created is because the ability to do things to human beings at the most comfort, in the most remote ways, is what this technology is all about. We're just test subject to this. So this childlike individual who is the, perhaps one of the weakest human weak I mean weakest not even weak as in like evil I mean weak, can be saying these things to me. And feel empowered. And truly, I don't want her to have sympathy. To me, I think they, they're still in the delusional state of like, oh, we feel bad for doing it. No, first of all, no, you're not the one doing this. You're the one implementing this, but you're not the one doing this. I know who's running the show, and I know why your dumbass is involved in this. I don't get it. You are not somebody who is stable mentally, or not even mentally. Strength is, you're not a strong individual. When you hear these people talking to you, you don't think, oh my gosh, this person is such a tough individual mentally you hear the horrors you hear the weakness out, out, out of this person and you like i get it i'm i get it and i understand because I, I could be saying the same thing just like you and being a bottom feeder like you 
if I was a weak low life and I was uh, given this opportunity, I'll be like, this is my bad. You'll stretch, you'll die. And I was like, the truth now, I'm like, God give me strength through this horrible torture I'm going to go through. But I am so thankful that before all these horrible things happen to me, this dumbass is now embarrassed by the fact I can tell, I can say, and National Defense Abuse Act, I know the mass shootings, I know they torture a lot of women, I know that rape is consistently and, and commonly used as a breakdown tactic. You know, so like, when she says these things, before they would try to make themselves like, no, we have dangerous my dad, they're gonna burn in hell. I was like, yeah. these people burn babies using radiations via this DOD technology. So this is the person talking to me, right? That's why she's involved in. You see how he loses this, this like facade they wanted to create? But this person interacting with you is in a program that literally does horrible things to even babies. This is not something I make up. This is the testimony that you heard. So whatever horrible torture I'm gonna go through, this bottom feeder is working for a program right now that is doing some some of the most evil things you can imagine to a children. So when she's like, "No, you my bad, you're gonna die, you're gonna piss up, you're gonna," it's like, "Yes, it's gonna be horrible. God give me strength for that, but thank you, God, I'm not involved in a program where there's a bunch of pedophiles running. Now I've been running this program, but there's a bunch the entities running this program are, are filled with pedophiles. They do horrible things in this program to women, to men, to children." And many have died already. More will die. There'll be more mass shooting. Children will be more targeted. More women will be more targeted. Men will be more targeted. And this trash saying, my bad. Try to agitate me. Is involved in that. Now, don't worry. Do your thing. I'd rather die in hell. And don't worry. I'll never think about you as somebody in, as, as the reason why this is happening to me. I just understand what this is about. These people are the trash that trash human beings. But the, 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 it's not just men and women, but children. And you're the losers who can't even say the first and last name of the person that can say the name. My bad. You see the reality. So, for me, God, I'm asking God to give me strength. And it's funny how they, they, they try to still maintain this side by telling me, no, we choose you. It's like trash. You could always, so that means you could have chose a child. Or you could have chose a woman because this is people have uh, options to be tortured matter of fact they're being tortured right now so you're in a program where there's women and children being tortured but you chose me wow what a brave woman <laughs> what a fierce femme fatale trash ass imagine imagine me you get involved in a program where they're doing so much horrible things to men and women and children and i'm like you know what i'm not gonna torture the women and children let you guys do that, but let me join the program that does that and torture you. <laughs> Trash ass. And yes, there's a lot of women saying there's a lot of females involved in, tor in their torture. So even that is disgusting. But at the end of the day, target individual, you gotta be strong. Throughout the day and the night, oh my gosh. Waking, waking up, first of all, with a dream that's so disturbing. And you know, they do these dreams where they give you have they, they have you have sexual stimulation toward children you know it, it's, it's it was like supposed to be a wholesome moment with a child i'm like like something like the kid was giggling and then and then they'll give me sexual stimulation and they're making me have sexual stimulations and and i'm like i'm feeling that happening i know it's them doing that while, while i'm dreaming while i'm you know this is part of things that's what they do and i know this is how they condition the brain and it's like now you felt like that when you were a kid now you're making me feel this way and it's disgusting but you're training my brain this way this is what they do this trash work in the governmental entities that use test subjects and no one in these governmental entities have problem with pedophilia it's a big issue it's an issue that's been ongoing for years the dod has had issue with the child porn being trafficked within the network so much so that the child protective services ranked the dod network as 19th out of 2900 right and there was this bill that passed in 2019 called and national abuse act to try to attempt to limit the amount the amount of child porn being downloaded using the devices the dod gives to them so you know the the, the issues of those entities that are the one running this program 
And then on top of that, you know there's a pattern of them using this particular type of torture to torment people, to break them down, right? And they do that to women, men, and, ch and children are tortured directly. So, and, so you, you know, they've, at this point, you know these people are, are called them pedophiles. But on top of being pedophiles, they try to turn people into pedophiles. And try to push people into insanity that way. So in every way, you see them as the losers and the bottom feeders because you know they torture children. You know they torture children. And you know they torture women. And they cause mass shootings. And kids have died. So these people are trash. And it, I mean, there's no way to escape reality. The women they have raped and tortured are very vocal. And this trash talking to, to me like, man, man. Ah, children. It's like she's involved in that. So for me, there's no escapism. Matter of fact, I have to find a way to calm down. I have to calm down because I don't want to be aggressive. Because you see people who want to act this way in front of you. They think they can gaslight you by acting a certain way that you're going to forget that one, you know, you're being, you're not being manipulated to experience this. And two, that you don't know that these people are involved in a program that tortured children and women. Some of them doing that to me have had experience doing that to women and children. Some of them haven't. But either way, they all are in a program that torture women and children. So when you see them, and they try to be like, ah, because they really want to gaslight you into a feeling vilified. But you know the person doing that to you is involved in a program that does these things. Either if it's the first time or the last time, they're going to do that. Or is, they've done that multiple times. But they're in a program currently doing these things to me, where they do that horrible things to even children, where they torture them and destroy them, regardless of the experience they've had. So for me to not look at them and like I should do something to you because I know what you're involved in, not only in my program, but I know yeah, that you're trying to block out the reality that you do that to women and children. And when I mean you, I mean obviously this program, these bottom fears are no nothings. So for me, it's just like, calm down. This, this piece of shit wants to get an agitation, aggression, because at this point, there's people who've died, people who've got killed because Target Vigil lost their mind and shot up a whole place up. And trash like you are the cowards and low life, the embarrassing low life trash who can't even say a pedophile's name, who are the bottom fears working for these governmental entities with a lot of pedophilia issue and have been using human subjects, inclusive of a lot of women, to, to develop this technology. So God give me strength because this trash needs to die the way they need to die, not for me. Let them feel special, these bottom fields who can't even say Roy Moore because they're just bottom feeders. Let them. I'd rather be a bottom than having to live life like them. You know, at some point they would try to make me, we are war. Yeah, right. You fucking trash. If you had war, you would be the one getting shot. Now, Zoe, Zoe, who's 10 years old. You're just a bottom feeder here, just watching me die slowly. You're using defense technology, which is what you're employed to do by the DOD. Maybe not directly, but we know this is the, run, the one running this program. I'm okay dying like this, as long as I didn't live my life like this bottom feeders. The fierceness that these people have when they talk to you for via V2K is imagine, this is incredible. This is the bravery only V2K can bring out of them. But when you see them in person and they try to play this game, this gimmick, it's different. I remember I was in the office and this woman was looking at me and she was like, she's just, I, I, came, I came across, I started having this conversation with this person. They do this directed conversation, I started doing the same thing for them. And this woman, wanted to present to herself as like they protect children and everything else and i was like first of all this agency is running this program these entities are so pedophilia centric the whole bill came up to try to limit the amount of child porn that's happening there a whole bill in 2019 this woman was trying to say it was so long ago i'm like okay i go 
I go by her because this bill was in 2019, not too long ago. I go by her, I talk to somebody, it's like, hey, what year was that, 2019? And I look at her, she just feels uncomfortable. It's like, you look at your fucking trash. Imagine that was somebody who was aggressive. Imagine. And I'm not trash like you try to live in every way it's been embarrassed. Not only you work for pedophiles, but you torture kids, babies. And it's not too long ago. Testimonies are happening today about that. Girls, little girls, little boys, and you involved in this, you piece of shit. And this boy who just died, who's 14 years old, who's just wrong face at the wrong time, and Target just lost his mind, shut the whole place up. While you trash out sit here pretending you're doing that for your children. For this little Zoe 10 year old talk about why would somebody shoot the place up with his kids. She got her legs shot. Thankfully the bullet didn't go through her, it just grazed her. While well, trash like you are there. For me, it's important to see them for what they are. This is an honorable death in the sense that I can see things for what they are. And this bottom fuse, as much as they try to gaslight you into accepting this manipulation, I've been validated that that's what they do. They were bringing up war, uh, anything they could. They were making me think. Matter of fact, they were making me think, oh my gosh, it's so bad. You know, the reality is, these people, today, what they're making me experience is sexual stimulation toward children. This is a tactic they've been using on others. Where you hear the noise campaign, they make you experience this, and then this is why the stream happened. This is the condition your brain like that. They do that to so many others that there's been a clear pattern, a clear systematic list of things they do, which the pedophilia type of torture is one of them. It is it's that bad. It's, it's that consistent. But for them, what they've been trying to do is to make me believe that what I'm experiencing today is not the pedophilia type of torture that they normally do to people in this program to test subjects, to target individual. But what they're doing is they're making my brain be a brain of a child. And why they say that is because what they try to do is bring up what I did as a child when I was in middle school, which is something I did to myself as a child that is inappropriate, but unfortunately for that, for them, it's never going to be what they wanted. They wanted me to have done something to a child. They, have, they wish I'd, I used her hand. They wish I used her, like whatever disgusting things, which will be considered more of a sexual abuse, which in reality is that's not the case. So it's just me, a middle school, doing something to myself as a child. It's an appropriate act still, but it's an act of a child. That's capable of doing that. Now, we know that children are capable of doing that. This is what the brain of an impulsive child can do. It's nothing magical. I'm not saying something special, but that's the truth. That's the reality. And so because this is something that happened once, and these people currently do this pedophilia type of torture all the time, they have to create a false pattern. And so they will try to go backwards, like, no, but when you kiss that kid in the cheeks, like, there, on the, on the, on the cheeks, on the, there, you see that, they feel like, no, you're just trying to create that to be something inappropriate. That was not inappropriate. You're just trying to change that into that. Matter of fact, in my memories of that, they're making me have sexual stimulations. And so pathetic. Matter of fact, it becomes so bad. <laughs> and I was like, my brain, test subject, our brain are taken over by them, right? They can take over your brain, and they overlay thoughts. And logic the way they were trying to connect because like I said what I did as an appropriate child what I did in, inappropriately as a child it happened once but they were trying to create something else to be inappropriate that wasn't but they were like no but you see the mother of this child you thought she, you you had a thing for the mother for of this child and you had a, a, a thing for the mother of this child so you see that's that's mapping that's a pattern that's how it goes. My brain is that manipulated. It is this sad and pathetic. That shows that this is what they do. And they're like, no, we are war. You're not a war. You're just seeing, tweaking around what's going to work in regard of me identify with this manipulation. I understand. I'm a test subject. It's like, let, let's just say this. If before a war, right, you test the, the, the weapons, right, you have new missiles, you have new guns, you're going to shoot on targets to see how it, it hits, if it's efficient. If it, we are this to them. We are those tests, test subject where they use this technology onto us and see what works, what doesn't work, what to tweak around. That's what we are. And they use men, women, and children. And they do the same tactics and then tweak around what they need to tweak around. 
the pithia type of torture is commonly used on us target individual on women and men and then they find ways to for you to identify with these things i will never identify with this nasty pedophilia manipulation that's what you guys do it is nasty it is what they do it got so bad it's not only the pedophilia type of torture they try to vilify it in any way possible and sometimes they're like now for courtney i talked i talked about it these people torturing raping women so bad destroying them i mean rape is commonly used to break down they break down the target individual one way or another not only psychologically but physically or using this technology rape is something that you're going to hear happening over and over and over when target individuals testify about what's happening to them and those women say that and by the way those women say also there's a lot of females involved in this program so the participation of women in the targeting of women is happening a lot consistently to the point that other women have literally said there's a lot of females doing that what kind of woman are you you're not even a woman so you know that so first of all you know that these women do these nasty things to women or these people involved in this program do nasty things to women that is sexual torture them sexually you can hear horrible testimonies and so they would try to make me think oh corny what happened and they would try to bring up you know when i was in high school i was a virgin i gotta be honest most i mean i was a virgin i had very little actually i mean very few sexual interaction when i was in high school but you know how when you're in high school you you know to fit in you still create this deluded reality of like what who you are and i remember i was like yeah i'm like the punisher you know me because i'm sexually but i was not having sex at all at all and so it was a virgin talking right in high school so now the way they would try to twist things around is like no but you know the, what you did with corny when you and corny in the morning you're calling yourself the punisher the trash delusion those trash and there's this next door neighbor who start making those campaign trash first of all you have to twist story like that that's nonsensical stupidity of, of, of uh, a, a virgin in high school talking about that calling himself that when he was not having any sex and then try to be now you see how you call him punisher because you see that great story it's just a, a, a high school kid who's trying to sound like he was having sex when he wasn't or make himself believe in this persona he created in high school that is faith like a fantasy of, of some sort not even a fantasy like a deluded persona created in his head that's falsified as hell but they would like try to twist that to say no but remember what you did to corny like listen i'm talking to people first of all you have to twist the story up like that but secondly let's just talk about corny specifically on what happened this punisher bullshit is something the high school virgin saying that and try to you know call himself that but what happened to, to with me and Corny was um, in, in my adulthood and it's not going to come from people who are involved in a program where rape is used as a tool to torture women commonly because what it means is if unfortunately Corny is put in a program where she's the test subject which is definitely a possibility of that because obviously they need more there'll be more women there'll be more men and there'll be more children put in this program because this in development is is in need of human subject to continuously see the ability of this technology and what they can do to put that in the database so you would do these horrible things to corny if she was put in this program because there's so many other women who aren't corny who are being raped and tortured daily by these bottom feeders and they're in this program i can never let them live their fantasy I can't because the truth is i understand why they're doing this thing to me they don't give a shit about corny you think they'll be in a program where they rape and torture women and do horrible things how many women have killed themselves in this program how many of them right now being close to suicide you think they've been that program if they really care about corny of course they don't give a damn about her they just enjoy being involved in a program where they can manipulate human being and be involved in technology that is so sophisticated Corny is just a way to, f to make them create this fantasy. 
there is no woman who be involved in this program knowing how horrible it is to women and try to present themselves as like we're doing that for this woman no way what was corny so special that you you will forget the, the the testimonies and the torture of all these women that are being tortured every day every day of their life destroyed atrocities piece of shit so don't use that name so to me um it's it's important to understand what this is about and i'm thankful to god and i will never let them live that fantasy these people are cowards they're not here avenging they don't care about what would you if you wanted to avenge a woman would you be in a program that is literally torturing and destroying the life of so many women the atrocities to be like nah for that that time recording that and you're in the program right here you're killing and torturing women never if anybody needs avenging it's all those women that are begging for help that their life have been destroyed and life has been a struggle ever since the atrocity they've been going through they need to be avenged and so it's, it's easy for me to look at this trash involved in this program it need to be avenged and, and, and i need to avenge this woman of course if i had that mindset i couldn't easy for all these women begging for help asking for support for all going through atrocities you need to that's reality now the truth is i know what this is about and unfortunately this woman tortured and dealing with these atrocities are just test subject they're guinea pigs and they're vilifying them one way or another just finding something to try to vilify them onto the vilification is utilized so for me i need to remember this every day i'm not perfect but i know who i am i know how they manipulate me is not who i am i know they're conditioning and training my brain in these disgusting pedophilia ways i know this is something they try to make me identify and then try to go to my childhood it's like no but you feel like that when you're a child which on its own you gotta understand the level of illogicalness you have to be on these people are horrible to children and women i know the atrocities they do to people and i know that the people tell me now nah, you pay for what you did as a kid are the same people involved in the program that would suffocate a seven-year-old autistic child so i ask god to continuously give me strength and continue to see show this low life for what they are there's no escapism they're gonna feel this godly powers and enjoy this godly power watch me die but not escaping from this fan escaping the out of escape from reality escape from the fact that this is what you're part of you will say now you pay better know that you're in a program to torture babies you better i know it's easy to do what you do but you're not going to do that in the escapism you can make yourself talk in every childlike way you can do but you involved in that this is the evil that you're involved in the evil that you're involved in doesn't only torture men but even babies and you know that and some of you will do that to babies and women there's no escapism and some of the people that you're working with right now have their hands dirty sorry has the, has expertise doing that to women and children you understand so you know what you are now target individual stay strong